the problem with waterfalls. So before I had the 990, because the 990 has got a waterfall, it might not be fantastic. It works. OK, it's quite nice. You can see, you know, is that station who's really loud, annoying me above or below? Whatever, you know, you, you can see and you've got there's this tendency, isn't there, to um, use your mouse or whatever you do. Right. If you've got a waterfall on your radio to show where all the signals are is to go and look at all the strong ones, all right? Now, I was sitting here many years ago, having a twiddle, very slowly. No waterfall. I didn't have a waterfall then. You just twiddle around. And I heard this guy, I don't know what his call sign was, but he, he was Indonesian, all right? Now, I know Roly is going to say, oh, not more Indonesians. But for me, on 40 metres at twilight in the evening, that's quite unusual. And I could hear bits of his call sign, bits of his call sign, he was calling CQ, and then I picked it up, OK? And I thought, oh, well, I'll, I'll call him. I think I was a 100-watt station at the time, you know, FT 1000 MP. And I gave him a call. And, uh, and I got through fine, right? I got through fine. It's not until I put him on. He asked, he said, any chance you could put me on the cluster? You know, he wanted a European pilot. So I did. I put him on a cluster. How to put someone on a cluster, I'll show you another day. But I put him on a cluster. And he, uh, he had a mega pilot. Five and nines all over the place. Because we've lost the art of using the VFO, right? I hate to think of how much of your £2,000 radio, what £2,000 radio, how much of that as a percentage was put into that, that VFO and the bearings and everything to make it just right. It'd be a lot, right? Because that's the one thing you touch all the time. And my 90 is kind of weighted. I can spin it, go up, you know, 100 kilohertz at a time, you know, almost. And it's beautiful, very fine, really lovely to use. And I was having a phone call with Mike the other day, and he said, you know, sometimes he doesn't look at the waterfall. You know, he'll find a bit of a dead band, and he'll very slowly go down it, you know, very slowly go down it. And he'll find an interesting station that isn't showing up on the waterfall. Now, maybe you've got some super duper thing and even someone who is three and one, right? Shows up on your waterfall, right? Depends on your background noise and all sorts of other things, probably. But, and there are people out there on 10 watts who actually call CQ, right? Unbelievably, right? And your little 100 watt station or 50 watt station, you'll easily get back to them and you'll make their day, by the way, by doing that, right? But they're not showing up on your blooming waterfall. So get the VFO and give it a twiddle and have some fun and relearn the art of shortwave listening, almost. All right? Next video's here. I've got a playlist coming up underneath it. Have a great day. I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye for now.